Hello everyone, I'm Bert Senior and welcome to Tombstone Disc Golf. Today, I'm going to do a review of what's in my bag. First of all, let me start off by looking at the, uh, the Latitude 64 DG Luxury Bag. Uh, this is an amazing bag. I've had a few bags and this one is by far my favorite, but also one that I hate. Here's the only reason I hate it. It holds way too much. If it holds it, I'll carry it. That's a problem for me. I'm like a hoarder on the disc golf course. Anyways, uh, I've customized it just as coach here with the American flag. Why? America. That's why. Love this country. We got, uh, let's start off with the putters. We'll start off with uh, my, uh, my main putt and putter here. I use JK Pro AVRs. I uh, had started off using KC, KC Pros and uh, out here in Colorado in the cold weather, it's really hard to grip those. And uh, I played uh, one of the guys we play with quite often. He was he puts with a JK Pro. He was like, "Hey, uh, check this out." So grab it. They're real grippy. Uh, I just wanted something I could play with year round, and uh, so that's where we're at here. And then I've got a couple uh, extra JK Pros that I warm up with. I just keep them in the top of four rounds, and then I put them back in the car after uh, warm ups. So that's where we're at there. And I uh, also carry one more JK Pro. Uh, this one's for throwing. Those others were max weight 175s. This one's a 168. This one is, uh, I love throwing this thing. It'll hold every single line you put it on, whether it's an ante, a hyzer, flat, whatever you want it to do, it's going to do it. So it's, uh, the flight of this so, sort of reminds me of the, uh, the Novas that Innova makes because those things will show you how screwed up your, your flight path is. And uh, this thing's the same way. But uh, another JK Pro. Moving on from there, I've, I carry three hearts. Uh, my most overstable is the VIP plastic. I'll throw this one when I'm trying to play a skip shot up to the basket when I'm going around a tree and I gotta keep it low under some limbs or something like that. So, and then uh, I've got this, this BT medium that I throw. This one's a little more, a uh, little less overstable uh, than the, the VIP, but uh, this one will grip the ground just a little bit better because of the plastic. So I'll throw this one every now and then. And this harp here, the Origio, this one flies straight as an arrow, and it'll hold that line all the way. Never fades out, never flips. Uh, again, whatever line you put it on, it'll hold it. Uh, and if you put a little too much heat on it, if you put a hyzer, it'll flip the flat uh, and fly straight, and it lands flat for you. From here, my next disc, uh, next approach disc, is a Star Cayman. This is my first ace disc. Uh, I hit it over in uh, Windsor, Colorado. Uh, only got one ace, but hey, you know, got to start somewhere. Uh, it only took me three years to get it. But anyways, uh, I've had this disc in my bag. Actually, I had it, I bought it, didn't carry it, threw it a few times, uh, took it out of my bag, and I've just recently in the past uh, two or three months put it back in my bag because I've gotten, I've gotten to a point, I think, in my game where I can really trust this disc because it doesn't matter what line you put this on, it's automatically, it's going to come back. It's going to fade out at the end. Uh, if you put it on a hyzer, it's going to carry that, it's going to, you can put this thing 90 degrees from somewhere you wanted it to go. It'll absolutely make that uh, fade for you. Um, Mid-range disc here. I got an MD4 that I carry. It's max weight also. Um, but uh, this was the first Disc Mania disc that I, uh, that I had, I believe. Um, but uh, I wanted something mid-range. And this was actually the first mid-range, I believe, that I bought. But uh, anyways, this disc right here, will, it will flip the flat and always come back uh, for you, no doubt. It's a very trustworthy disc, I like, like most discs are, unless you get something really understable. But anyways, it's, uh, it'll fly, I use this for my 3 to 320 shots. Next, I've got two Emac Truths. I've got a hand eye. Uh, this is a, a moonshine plastic, and this is just lucid plastic. This lucid plastic is more overstable than the, uh, than the moonshine. It's not that it's obscenely overstable because you can get it to hold its line for about 320 feet, at least for me. Uh, I'm not a, I don't have a huge arm or anything, but it'll hold its line and then it'll, it'll come back left on you pretty good. Whereas the, uh, the moonshine plastic, it seems to want to hold that line a little longer. Next, I've got a couple of felons. Uh, I've got the, this one here, this one feels a little better on the forehand. Not sure why, they're the same plastic. But uh, it's a little flatter. Maybe that's why. But anyways, uh, these are my go-to forehand discs if I'm inside 350 feet. Um, 
but and I'm I don't have a strong forehand. Only been working on that recently, but uh, you'll probably see some videos of that trash soon. But it's something I'm working on, trying to put that into my into my bag of forehand, a good forehand. But anyways, uh, I'll throw this one predominantly backhand, and again this one forehand. My next disc is a Sexton Firebird. I can't remember. I think this is a 2017. I'm not sure. Uh, if anybody happens to watch this video and they're like, yeah, you're an idiot, that's a whatever year, please leave that in the comments below. But uh, this disc, um, this is by far my, well, this is, I, let me rephrase that. This is my second favorite forehand disc behind the destroyer. We'll get there in a minute. But uh, if I'm going to reach out and try to, you know, put a little extra heat on it without trying to get that extra um, for that destroyer to get it, I'll throw, I'll reach to this because this one, it will not turn. I mean, it, it'll, it'll flip to flat, but... If you turn it any at all, it's going to fight back. So, very, very reliable disc. Next up, I've got a uh, first run Savant. Uh, it's very similar to, I believe, a CD2, maybe a Valkyrie, somewhere in that in that area. Uh, it's uh, it's more overstable than a than a Valkyrie is, but this is a new addition to the bag. I've thrown it quite a bit, trying to get used to it. But uh, the uh, luster plastic is it feels good, and it's a good looking disc also. But it's uh, I'm trying to trust it. Um, I just can't get it uh, broke in fast enough. I broke it in fast enough. So, uh, but it'll get there and it'll earn its uh, earn its way into my bag and it'll stay there for good. Next, I got a Valkyrie. This one's not beat in real bad. Um, um, I'm afraid that once it does get beat in, it's going to have to come out because of how flippy it'll be. Because as of right now, you know, I can I can put it on a good hyzer. It'll stand up and turn, and then it'll come back a little at the end. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm afraid that I'll probably have to end up going to a newer one and just have to cycle those through the bag. But uh, as of right now, it's a, it's a pretty good disc. It, it's got some good glide to it for sure. Next is the Star Wraith. This thing is, it's, uh, I think, uh, maybe this is me just not knowing enough about discs or what have you, but this disc is, I think, underrated as far as its beefiness, as far as the one that I have. I know that discs are sometimes uh, uh, from one disc to another, even if it's the same mold, same plastic, it, they fly differently. But anyways, this thing I trust. I can I can wing this on a good hard ante and know that it's coming back and pretty much land in the line that I put it on. So, but uh, again, Star Wraith. Uh, most of these discs are max weight. This one's not. This one's only a 168. So, but all right. We got some destroyers here. This is a uh, this is the first destroyer I ever had. It's a Mac, uh, Macbeth destroyer, and uh, it's 171. But uh, this was the uh, when I first got this disc, I thought, man, I hate this disc uh, because I couldn't throw it straight. Couldn't get anything on it. Well, now it's it's been beat in. It's been run over. Not by me. That'd be weird. But uh, just bad shots hitting up in roads, places, uh, people driving over it. Um, this disc now, I can get the flip to flat and hold the line for quite a while before it comes back, just like most destroyers do, uh, and with a fade at the end. This next one, it's got the Carolina Weed. We just dyed this uh, not too long ago, back in, I believe it was early December. Um, but this one's only 166, so when I'm trying to get a little extra distance on it that I couldn't get out of the, the other one. This is also Macbeth, but uh, this one's not in anywhere near as uh, stable as the other one. I can get this one to turn over and finish on an ante. So this one, it does, it, it'll ride out pretty good. You release it on a hyzer, it'll flip the flat and hold that line as well with just a, just a barely any fade at all at the end. And uh, one of my farther flying discs I have in the bag is an Eco Star Destroyer. Um, I can't find these anymore. I bought two, gave one to my son uh, when I got them. This one's uh, 171 grams. This one, uh, the first time I ever threw it, I gotten over on it a little bit and overcooked it uh, and I thought man I'm never gonna be able to throw that disc it's way too flippy which is weird when you say that about a destroyer but again you know you you gotta play you know gotta, you gotta throw them to know what they're gonna do so I just gave it a chance after chance after chance and now I've gotten it figured out I, you absolutely do not throw this disc in a headwind uh, at least this one because it'll just go right and keep going forever so you gotta release this on a pretty good hyzer and it'll flip to flat and it'll It'll go straight for about 440 feet until you get just a touch of fade at the end. So, Next, a lot of people probably don't carry. I'm not sure, but uh, I absolutely love them. We'll start with this one because this might have been the 
maybe second or third disc that I ever bought. It's a G-Star Katana. Uh, I can throw this disc way better than I used to be able to. Um, I don't know why because the numbers don't represent what this actual disc does right here. Uh, it, it is more overstable than the numbers give it credit. Uh, and I know I've thrown other katanas before and they've been really understable. But this one, um, it took me a while to learn how to throw it. But uh, now that I've got it down, I can get it to ride out straight and just a little fade at the end. This katana is an EcoStar katana. This one's understable, uh, much like the numbers say. Uh, it is, if you don't release it on a hyzer, it's going right and never coming back. But uh, again, it, uh, I like the EcoStar plastic. People are probably like, why do you have so many EcoStars? But uh, I've still got two more to show you. Uh, but anyways, um, that plastic just feels good in the hands, grippy, and I just uh, like it, in the, especially in the weather out here. All right, next I've got a DDX. Uh, I don't throw this a whole lot anymore. It may be coming out of my bag soon, but uh, I keep it in there, you know, for those shots over water or anything like that, where I'm not afraid to lose one of the one of my bigger discs. So, but it's uh, it's fairly understable. Um, what is this one? 170. So this is Star plastic or S line plastic since it's Discmania, but. Uh, She'll fly pretty straight if you uh, release it on a hyzer. If not, it's going right. All right, next are my longest flying, two of my longest flying discs, and then the other one's just one that I trust quite a bit here. We'll start with that one. This is a uh, 10th anniversary Star Boss that I wiped, and my brother and I stamped it with uh, the North Carolina logo on it. We're big Heels fans. But uh, anyways, this one's uh, decently beefy for now because it's new, but... She does fly pretty good. She's not nearly as long as the other two that I'm about to show you, but it's a uh, it's a nice disc. It feels good in the hand. All right, so my two longest discs, Eco Star Bosses. These things fly like nothing else in my bag. The only thing close to it is that Eco Star Destroyer, but uh, the Eco Star Boss is uh, the first Eco Star disc that I ever had. This one here, and uh, I lost it. And then a buddy of ours, he he went out one night and went digging through some water and stuff, found it. So, thanks to Derek. I appreciate it if you see this ever. But uh, these discs will go, I mean, they are by far. And then I, I bought this extra extra large stamp, uh, Echo Star Boss, uh, a few months ago. And this is actually longer than this one. This is the absolute longest disc I have in my bag. And I can, and again, I don't, I don't have an obscenely long, big arm, so maybe close to 450 every now and then. Uh, internet distances, I'm throwing 672 feet. I just want to put that out there. Biggest arm ever. But no, seriously, it's it's realistically between four and four fifty. So that's what I have in a bag. I've got a, uh, of course, I got a some Tombstone Disc Golf garb here. We got a, a mini that we stamped with TDG on it with our logo. So uh, there we go. Thank you guys for watching. Tombstone Disc out.